Hey guys, it's Anna Dia from Canvas Homepage Building and Design Tutorials. And this is part three of four, which will be about the mapping. Um, if you've missed the other two videos, um, there'll be links in the bottom or annotations on the video itself. And watch Twitter and Facebook for a video playlist of all the iframe tutorials with the fixed code. Um, it means yes, it works now, so don't give me any more crap. I'm just kidding. Um, what we're going to be covering in this one is how to map out everything on the layout. We are also going to be putting in the rest of the image map. So basically the other half of the coding is in this video. Um, and yeah, it's not going to be too bad. It's going to be a little meticulous in the middle. Um, so stick with me and we should get through it just fine. So what you're going to do now leaving your file drive open, because you'll still need it, go back to your forum tab if you have a tab open, or window. You're going to open the online image map editor. Wait for that to load up. Go into your code and find the link to your layout. So from quote to quote, copy it. You can also save the image, you can go back um, to the forum and save the image on your desktop if you'd like, um, but this is a lot easier. You're going to click accept, wait for it to load, it has to load the image. not wanting to load my image. Alright, well then, I'm going to do this. Alright, choose file. I do have a copy saved to the Dropbox at least. So like I said, if the link doesn't work, it's the easier way to go, but if it doesn't work for some odd reason, um, save it and open it this way. Click upload, and when that button disappears, it'll be a minute. And then you're going to click accept. There we go. It's going to be a little blurry, don't worry about that. Um, what we're doing is we're drawing out buttons. Now, keep this in mind. Um, you can pause and go slow. I'm going to probably whiz right through it. Click. And then go to the other end so you draw a box. Don't, you only click once. Click again to keep the box the way it is and draw your next box. So click, box, click, click, drag, click. And we're also going to need to do the plus sign and the envelope. What we've done is made a clickable area, so instead of people clicking on the word extra, like it has to do it right there, they can click anywhere in the box area, which is really kind of handy for when you use text as a button. Okay, so we're going to go to your file drive, first of all. So I asked you guys to make three different slides that were saved as HTML documents and we uploaded them in the second video. What you want you to do is go find those three and get the links. It'll be right below the blue title. Get the links and copy them. One at a time. Now looking at the online image map editor, when you hover over where it says href, that's where you're going to put your link. Do not worry about alt and do not worry about target. We'll mess with target and alt later. But if you have, if your brightness is at a certain level, you can see, it. oh yeah, there we go. I can really see it now. Um, whenever you hover over where the href is, it'll glow over what box it is. So your home tab will go in your home tab. And while you have this clicked, if you need to go copy it again, so this will be my home tab, let's say. Go into your code. <clears throat> with your home URL copy and select it. Where it says home URL goes here, I want you to paste that. So just hit control V again or right click paste. Then you're going to do that the same thing at least on the map with your other two links. So grab your other two links. I'm just going to grab different ones. I have a ton. 
And I'm just gonna put them in. Okay, and now I have two boxes left. If we scroll over, it'll be the plus sign, which is number three, and they correspond with each other too. And number four is the envelope. What I want you to do now is close your file drive, since we're done. Go click on GAF 210's IMView Links Generator. This is a really cool device that GAF 210 has come up with. It's been up for a while, but I still think it's like the snazziest thing on earth in the HTML IMView homepage world, at least. Um, type in your avatar. I'm going to do for canvassing. Pardon my computer, it's going kind of slow. Okay, and it's going to pop up a whole frig ton of links having to do with your avatar. So the only two we need is the add and the message, which is the plus and the envelope. So, you can either use the pop-up message link, or it can just you have to leave my home page. Um, the pop-up message, like a little um, beige, tan, gray box, just pops up right there on top of your layout, and they can go ahead and send you a message that way without having to leave. Um, it's really handy. So I'm going to use the pop-up message link. I'm going to highlight it and copy it. Command C or Control C, and then I'm going to paste it into number three. Do the same thing. Oh snap! A bit. <laughs> Go get the Add Buddies. I forgot that was first. Add Buddies. It's going to go in number three, <laughs> where the plus is, and then the pop-up message link. Copy that one. It'll go in the last box for the envelope. I do apologize. It's getting kind of late. My brain's frying. You're going to click on this little thing that says code. Don't accidentally click PayPal. I mean, I'm sure they appreciate every donation they get, but do not click on that one. If you want the code, click on code. You're going to... If you can do a double click, control A, control C, and A, and C. Copy all, open a new notepad, paste it in there. This is where the fun begins. See this really, really long name? IMG map 2013-12-62-34-039. No, we need to rename that to image map 1, like we named our code in the first video. Do the same thing. Okay, now this is kind of like a Where's Waldo situation. Every time you see this target, and there's double quotes, Put your cursor between those quotes and type in line frame. I N L I N E F R A N E. Personally, I just copy and I just copy this word, and every time I see it, I just click and paste it. So like this. For every target with the two quotes, you're gonna put in line frame between those quotes. I think I got them all. Okay. Once you have all of them, you may you can have as many links as you want. Keep that in mind when you're designing as well. Go ahead and highlight all that. Copy it. Now let me zoom out on my code here. I'll show you where to paste it. Okay. Between where it has all this main box mumbo jumbo and the div ID avatar box, you're going to press enter twice and choose it so it's between them equally and paste it. And that's it for this one. <laughs> Oddly enough, we're pretty close to being done. Um, at this point, you might want to consider changing the color of your font. I didn't think about that before. Um, I'm changing mine to white just because it won't show, black won't show up on black. <laughs> Figures. Um, anyway, um, the next part of the video will be the final installation. And if you've missed the first two videos, like I said before, go in the links and the annotations or down below. If you have an issue with this video or you have a question, please, please, please leave us a comment and one of us will get back to you. 
If you want us to look over your whole code, email us. Our email is in the description below. And we're almost done, guys. Iframe's kind of hairy. That's why I prefer Dynamic EAP. <laughs> so, um, next video, like I said, installation. So I'll see you there.